Hi guys, I hope you're okay. Today we are going to try and fix this situation. I really wanted to film an updated makeup routine because I think the last video I filmed was four months ago. I've had a lot of like new products I like, skin prep I like, so I thought I'd show you guys. But again, this makeup routine is going to be like clean girl, dewy, glowy, all of that, my go-to. So yeah, I made myself a coffee because I can't go a day without one. Okay, we are going full shebang. I don't do this every day, but if I want my makeup to look really, really flawless and I have like a big event I'm getting ready for or I just want my makeup to look amazing, then I will use eye patches. I've actually seen such a difference when I have really moisturized under eyes compared to when they're kind of dry, flaky. Like my makeup sits so much better when there's moisture. These ones I really love. They are the Peter Thomas Roth ones and they're the Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel eye patches. Thing is though, I've been doing skincare videos for so long and I never know whether it's this way or the other way, if that makes sense. Like every way I put my eye patches, someone will say I'm doing it wrong. Also guys, all of my new furniture was built yesterday. My brother came around and helped me out with everything. He did such a good job. I finally have a coffee table and everything down in the hallway is now done. So I'm so excited to show you guys. I think I might do a little apartment tour in the next few days. Pudding those on and then i will leave those on for about 10 minutes until they lose their moisture and stick and then to prep my lips i'm using the rode peptide lip treatment in vanilla vanilla is my favorite lip balm from rode it's so yummy but i'll leave these on for 10 minutes and then i just feel like i'm refreshed and ready to do my makeup okay skin prep this is Glow Recipe's new toner and I have been using this so much since it launched. This is the Cloud Berry Bright Essence Toner and it's just a very natural moisturizing like layer. This one is so lovely and it smells of every yellow fruit you could imagine just mixed together. Do about three pumps of that. I never used to do a toner underneath makeup until I started watching Get Ready With Me TikTok and then I was like, that's actually genius and I found that it just makes my skin so much more hydrated, so much more plump and I feel like makeup just sits nicer. So I just do a layer of that. This product has quickly become one of my favourite skincare products I've ever tried. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. Don't get me wrong, I do love the normal magic cream but this one has a more like jelly water based texture. I just find for underneath makeup it sits so so nice. I've used so much of it already but I use quite a lot as well but like a dollop on each side of my face it's just so hydrating i feel like my skin just drinks it up when i put it on it also doesn't peel underneath your makeup look at the glow that gives my skin it makes it look so dewy and hydrated and healthy just makes you look so radiant i don't use foundation all that often so i'm just going to go in with two concealers these two are my favorites so we have the nars radiant creamy concealer and this is the new fenty beauty concealer i'm going to go in with the NARS concealer to start with. This is in shade light to vanilla. This is the lighter shade out of the two and I'm going to use this underneath my eyes to just brighten everything up. I'm going to do a little bit here. I don't like to use too much product. I tend to put my lighter concealer around my nose as well because I don't know why I get quite dark skin around there. And then also up my nose and here. And this concealer blends out so seamlessly. It's so natural and it doesn't go cakey at all and then i'm gonna use the fenty beauty concealer brush this is 180 just gonna blend that out and then i like to just use the excess on the brush just to go over my eyelids you can see that literally just brightens everything up and highlights everything that I want it to. Then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Concealer. This is in shade 150N. I'm going to put this one on any redness. So I have a little breakout on my chin here and also up here on just natural redness. And then also here. This concealer is amazing. It has 12 hour wear and it's so buildable. You can have it so natural or you can have it very glam. It's, yeah, so amazing. I'm going to use the same brush and just blend all of that out again. Okay. 
okay that's all blended out and that just evens out my skin tone but it's still very natural i'm looking in the mirror now and the concealers blend so naturally that it just looks like skin i do need some bronzer though this is a product I used so often when it came out and then it was one of those where I put it back in the drawer and I didn't pick it up for ages. But I decided to try it again about two weeks ago and it made me realise how good it is. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer and mine is in shade 1 Fair. I also love how big they made the compact, like there's so much product in there. This brush doesn't seem to have a number or a name but it is from Yenza and it's like an angled flat brush. I'm just going to dab it in there and then I'm going to start applying the product close to my hairline and then work my way down. I'm then going to follow my hairline up to my forehead just so then I have a natural bronze all around my face. When I'm like patting it into my skin, I find that doing this it just applies more evenly and naturally, it doesn't go muddy. I'm then just going to get a little bit of product on the brush and then just gently do the sides of my nose as well. That's my cream bronzer. This product is so buildable, so if you wanted more of a bronzy look, you could definitely go in with more. I like to keep it quite natural, but just looks like I've been in the sun for a little bit. Cream blush is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I love it so much. I think I mentioned it in my last video. My favorite cream blush at the moment is actually from Kylie Cosmetics. It is the Lip and Cheek Glow Balm in shade Way to Glow. And just look at the color of this blush. It is so gorgeous it's like a peachy pink i usually just go straight in with my finger and just get quite a lot of product and i just like to tap it on my cheekbones it's such a pretty shade it's very corally and i really really love the consistency of it as i'm picking the product up it's almost like melting into my skin i'm gonna go in with this brush from hourglass and i'm just gonna use this fluffy side and just blend out the product I usually do two layers of this, so I've just picked up some more product on the brush and I'm just going in with some more. I'll do a little close up so you can see what that looks like. For me, nothing will beat the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wands for liquid highlighter. I've actually just finished a whole one of these. I love them so much. They're so easy to use. It's the Spotlight Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I just like to apply this on my cheekbones, tip of my nose. I also like to just put it underneath my eyebrow and on my cupid's bow. And then to blend this out, I actually go in with a beauty blender and I spray it with the Charlotte Tilbury a Magic Hydrator Mist. Okay, I'm just gonna spray my blender. I've used so much of this recently, I can feel it getting lighter and I don't wanna run out of it. I think this is my secret to just glowy skin, spraying your blender with like a really hydrating mist works wonders. Apologies for the lighting change, the sun has decided to come out and show off this highlighter apparently. <laughs> I'm convinced that highlighter is just the key to glass skin. Honestly, look at the glow. Powder, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I've used so much of this. And I'm gonna use the same hourglass brush, but the other side. I like to just swirl it in and just kind of like pat it into my skin. And I only really apply it in the inner corner underneath my eye and then kind of down my nose where I tend to get oily. But I did stop using a powder puff just because I thought it looked a bit much at sometimes. I feel like using a brush gives a more natural Natural look and then I just like to apply it on my chin and also my upper lip because that's where I tend to either sweat or you know oil builds up okay for brows you guys know I don't really like doing that much but I've recently fell in love with the Kosas Brow Pop Brow Pencil. This is in shade Soft Brown, and I will literally just run this through my eyebrows really lightly just to give them some shape. My natural eyebrows are quite sparse and quite light, so I feel like they've got to have some sort of depth. So I'm just kind of like outlining them and then just filling it in lightly. And then I'm going to use the spoolie and just blend that out. And then I'm going to do the other brow. The brow gel I've been loving is Kai Brow from Kylie Cosmetics. I've actually had quite a few compliments on my eyebrows whilst wearing this because it really keeps them up all day. It just gives them that laminated effect but without going crispy or leaving like a white residue or anything like that. And then just gonna curl my eyelashes. Mascara, you guys have probably seen me talk about this so much on my Instagram. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. Honestly, I think this is the best lengthening mascara 
mascara I've ever used and I really look for you know, like a individual lash lengthening mascara rather than a clumpy one. I will do one eye so you guys can see the difference. But honestly, this mascara, I mean, it doesn't lie, the name. It really, really looks as though you have extensions. I do just think Hourglass is one of my new favorite makeup brands ever. Their stuff is so luxurious. I know it's a little bit expensive, but it's so worth it. I haven't tried a bad product from them. Look at the difference. I mean, that's one coat of mascara. The brush is so good at just like individually separating the lashes. It doesn't clump them at all. And then for the second layer, I literally just go over the top of the lashes. I mean, you can see the difference. This mascara is honestly so beautiful. I feel like it just opens up your eyes so much. Just do the other eye. As well, I love this mascara because the brush is the perfect size, so you can also do your bottom lashes with it. I do find that sometimes if the brush is too big, then it just goes everywhere, but this one's nice and delicate. So yeah, I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes. I know some people don't like to do their bottom lashes, but I love it so much. I feel like it just really makes your eyes pop and they look so much bigger. Okay, mascara is done. I just love it so much. I could honestly talk about this mascara for the whole video. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit more highlight. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Touch Highlight in Enlighten. I think this highlight is just so gorgeous. It's such a beautiful shade. And I will literally just use my finger and just go over all the highlighted spots in my face. For my lips, I usually just stick with a regular lip oil or a lip gloss. But this is the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen from e.l.f. and I've been loving it so much. But these are gorgeous. They're like really glossy, natural high shine balms. This one's just like a really, really pretty nude. And they just go on the lips so smoothly. They are like butter. I love the finish. It's just like a lipstick, lip gloss hybrid. And I love the color. It's almost like my natural lip color, but just more enhanced. To finish off my makeup look, I'm just using the Magic Mist all over my face again and just fanning that and that is pretty much my everyday natural makeup routine i just love doing makeup like this it makes me feel so much more put together and it's such like a low effort makeup look and also looks like this you can make so glam or you can keep them more natural it just makes you look like you are glowing and i just love that so much i think one of the best compliments you can give someone is like oh my god you're glowing i feel like it's such a nice compliment i'll give you guys a little close-up so you can see the skin Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And if you recreate this look or do something similar, please let me know, I'd love to see. As I mentioned before, all of the products will be in the description so you can go have a look. Please, please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you wanna see. I really wanna know if you like the skincare and makeup looks or you want more vlog videos. Let me know what you want and I will try and film as much as I can. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.